Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Joining us for a bit of seasonal work here, where we've been in contact with Kate and Josh from Warren's Fruit Farm and Farm Shop, down in Draycott, near Cheddar Gorge in Somerset. Throughout the year, they produce their own strawberries, amongst a variety of other produce, one of which being pumpkins in the autumnal months. Coming up to Halloween, and what a time to have a piece of work commissioned, a giant pumpkin, to take the place of their existing giant strawberry sculpture in the run-up to the spooky season. This sort of work is right up our street, and the sort of project that we love having come through our doors. Oversized items, pop art pieces, and something that we know is going to a good home will be properly appreciated by the owners as well as the general public. We're going to be creating this around a metre to 1.2 metres round, and about 2 metres tall by the time it's sitting on top of a pallet. The pallet means that the owners can simply forklift into position and back in of an evening, and this matches the setup that they already have with their giant strawberry. This is going to be carved from polystyrene with a blanket coat of glass fibre and simple flow coat finish. Aiden starting off by using a hot wire to take off the bulk of the material, before working down to nail and wire brushes. I really do hope that you're sitting comfortably, nice and cosy, with a hot mug of something on the go, as you join us for some literal pumpkin carving. We hope you enjoy. I must admit, it has been a while since we've had a bit of a dance break in our project videos, but don't you worry, every now and then we still need to release that tension. one of those blocks over there, see that? And then I realised it wasn't quite wide enough because I've done some measurements and checks. So if you look around here, I've added, I've cut down there and through there and brought it out just to give it a bit more girth. So it's 1.35 wide now, exactly the same as the drawing. And you can see that, I've added all that through there just to bring it wider, to make sure it's more like the reference. And then, uh, get it there. Oh, will you look at that? If you thought we didn't have any other trick or treats in store for you today, how about a treat be in our secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil, courtesy of the tinfoil fairy, and the trick being where do you get it from? Now that really is a trick. Protectively coating the polystyrene from the polyester resin going on the top, this fan favourite material is very much a topic of conversation on our emails, and some of our more avid viewers have actually had the opportunity to try some of this out. 
Perhaps drop us an email and see if you can find out more. Go on, treat yourself. Going over the entire form with a sturdy build-up of glass fibre for weatherproofing, manhandling when it's moved in and out of storage, muddy little pumpkin-picking hands and the odd photo opportunity, we're even going over the bottom of the sculpture so that we know everything is watertight. We're adding an orange pigment into all of the resin that we're using today so that if any of the artwork is ever scuffed or scratched, it always goes back to an orange base layer. With a project of this nature, and the sculpture being made for a family-run business, we're conscious about keeping the cost down for our client as much as possible. Rather than over-quoting for a silly smooth car body finish, as this sculpture will most likely be seen from either the main road or from a distance at least entering the farm, we've recommended and quoted for a resin flow coat finish. This still keeps a little undulating texture on the surface, and for the sake of a considerable saving in cost for the client, makes it look a little less shiny plastic and gives it a more organic look. And I mean, who doesn't love organic, right? With farming, it's the name of the game. With the artwork and airbrush detailing now complete, the entire sculpture is given a protective coating of a 2K car body lacquer. Word on the street is, uh, Kate's father-in-law Graham is on the way up from the West Country to collect the pumpkin, with a fresh batch of strawberries literally picked that morning very much on board for us. Thank you very much Graham, the size of the strawberries I'm fairly certain is more than one of our five a day. This is now en route down to Somerset, ready for the pumpkin picking season. No doubt many of you will remember the giant pumpkin we made for Peppa Pig World down at Paulton's Park, so this isn't the first oversized pumpkin we've made, and we certainly hope this isn't the last. If this fun-sized prop has inspired any ideas for you, from your farm, farm shop, amusement park, or even your back garden, we create bespoke items all year round, with seasonal props like this being very much a popular request. All it takes is to get in touch to see what we can create for you, and we'd love to hear what ideas you have. Many thanks to Kate, Josh, Graham, and the rest of the family and crew down at Warren's Fruit Farm. To any of our viewers, if you're ever in the area, it's more than worth a visit purely for their delicious local produce, and simply look out for the giant fruit and veg sitting outside. We always love hearing what you guys think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below, and by all means subscribe, and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board, and if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.